Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a small shop to, to share with you guys. Now I have a little bit of everything. I have a couple of reading goodies, some bookmarks. I have two new shops. I have some tried and true favorite shops and I also have a gift to share with you guys. So let's start with I think I'll save the book stuff until the end so that if you're not interested, you can just click out of the video. So I will leave those to the end. I think we'll start with tried and true shops. So shops that I have featured on my channel before that I know I love um, and that I will continue to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and start with some, what do I want to start with? Let's start with some putty. So this is a package from Butterfly Effect Wares. I have had this for a while. The postage date is April 18th. <laughs> so this one has been sitting for quite a bit. I've gotten really good at not opening packages ahead of time. Um, often I will like open the package and take the packing slip out. I haven't even done that this Time. So I picked up two, I think. I ordered these on April 8th. Yikes. <laughs> yes, I picked up two putties from them. So you have some directions. And then I'm very excited for these scents. We have a little candy strawberry and a butterfly sticker. And we have the Dot Dot Putty in Beach Babe and Pina Colada. I am kicking myself for not getting one of the pens that coordinated with this putty. Oh my goodness, that smells amazing. Um, but one thing that I love about Butterfly Effect Wears is when they have their custom listings out you can often request a past colorway so i feel like i might end up doing that with the beach babe colorway i really thought it was just so pretty oh my gosh this smells like suntan lotion <laughs> um so yeah i might have to go back and try to get one of the beach babe colorways but for now i'll survive without it all right let's look at what do we look at next I think this is a pen. Let's look at some trays. So this is a package from Cat Proof. Actually, I have another tray from Cat Proof to share with you guys, which is in a different spot. But if you're not familiar with Cat Proof, um, you get a little card. Come on. Look at that. Isn't it so cute? And then we have I got two Brie, I got two Calico stickers, and then it says thank you for your continued support. We have our little freebies here. I have a bag full of these squishies to give my nieces the next time I see them. This one is a little, is that a dinosaur? I think it's a dinosaur. And look at this little cover minder. That is so cute. I don't know if it's supposed to be a carrot, I don't know. And my invoice. Okay, so these are from a few weeks ago. Uh, oh, so pretty. Catproof Trees does drops on Wednesday at I think 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And often there are new colorways. Oh my gosh, I love these. So a couple of weeks ago, they released the sunrise and moonrise tricolors so i got them both in the lean boy so this is the sunrise you can see the bottom is like orange and then it's really pretty yellow kind of like a gold more of a gold than a yellow so i got that in that size and i also got it in a kitten i was very close to free shipping so i just decided to tack on uh, one of their kitten sizes. I love working with these when I'm using special drills. Um, it just works really well to put like my ABs in this one. And then if I'm swapping out colors, I can put the regular DMC in this tray and then I can have a little one for the ABs. And it's just really easy to work with that way. And then this is the Moonrise colorway. 
and this is so pretty. So this one's a little bit of a better gradient than the sunrise was. So you can see like the pink up into the purple and then the bottom is a really pretty purple color. These are really pretty. I love them. Big fan of cat proof trays. I've talked about them quite a bit on my channel. Um, I really enjoy uh, their product. One of my favorite trays out there, which I do have another tray from them, which was from a previous um, drop. Actually, Brie and I purchased trays together. So she purchased them and then I sent her some money because she was sending me a package anyway, which I'll share with you in a second. So she just, um, she offered to just order them together so we could get free shipping. And then she packed this in with my um, little surprise. So this is the mermaid colorway, something like that, but it's like an ombre purple to teal. And she actually, hers was the reverse. So hers is teal on the inside and purple on the outside. So pretty. So I do have that one. And again, this is in the lean boy size as well. There's my train. <laughs> All right. So cat proof trays, love them. Highly recommend. Definitely check them out if you have not. Speaking of Brie, I do have a package from her shop, which is Painting with Pities. And she has recently started selling putty, pity putty. I actually missed her first release because I was at my niece's first track meet. So I, uh, I missed her release and she pretty much sold out of everything. Um, so you will see that in the package I got from her, I got a couple of scents that she had sold out of, but what do we have here? Ooh, cute. So we have a little goodie bag and it looks like we have a nail file. Oh my gosh. Look, it's a cat as a cactus. What are these called? I cannot remember. It has a funky name. We have a business card. And if you did not know, Brie and Lexi from Lexi Sparkles are hosting a diamond painting event for the month of June. It's called Diamonds and Diversity. I know that Brie has an announcement video. I believe Lexi also has one. I'll link their channels down below so you can check that out. I have already planned my kits for June, but I'm hoping I can squeeze one in um, to take part in their event. They have some really amazing sponsors, so definitely go check out their channels. And we have a little nail file, which I always need. Okay, so I picked up two single packs. So we have Just Peachy and Blueberry Mojito, which I'm, anything with peach, I'm in. I love peach scented things. Ooh, it's glittery. Oh, yes, that smells amazing. So when Brie first launched, she was offering two um, paw prints for $6. I believe now she's offering one for four um, as a cheaper alternative to two people. I mean, obviously I got them. <laughs> so um, I think it's great. I mean, I use putty all the time, but with the single paw print, I think this will last me plenty. Look at how cute that is. Ooh, this one smells so good. Wow, I love that one. I love that one. And then I purchased her bundle. So she had the bakery bundle, I believe it was called. So we have pumpkin roll cake, hot fudge brownies. Ooh, I wanna know what that smells like, carrot cake blueberry muffins, and banana nut bread. I'm not going to smell all of these because they're tied up so cute, but I do want to try to get into hot fudge brownies because I'm very curious. Can I do it? Ooh, that smells really good. Ooh, that's, now I want brownies. That was a mistake. <laughs> Um, so if you're interested in checking out Bree's shop, I will link it down below. Um, I do have a code for you guys, which I did share in my um, shop preview when Bree opened. Um, if you use the code Luna, I think you get 10% off your order. Don't hold me to that, but I will put that information down below. But if you would like to check out uh, her shop for some pity putty 
or some handmade cover minders. I will leave the link down below. Okay, next up, let's go for, let's go for some cover minders. Now, if you watched my video last Monday, I shared with you guys how I set up choose accessories and set up to you to work on a large kit and I showed you guys my cover minder boards and they are packed and I said I don't need any more cover minders I don't have any room so naturally I have some more cover minders <laughs> because I'm crazy look at these pretty stickers and this isn't even the last order with cover minders there is a new shop that is now selling cover minders that I also purchased from so yay me now i decided to place an order from kim's needle minders which is actually the first accessory etsy small shop that i purchased from in the diamond painting community and it's been a while since i've checked out their shop so i decided to place an order and i got quite a few so we have this little anchor which i thought would be perfect for upcoming kits that i have in the works and we have this is this a treble clef or a G clef? It's a G clef, right? I don't remember. <laughs> I played flute for years and years and years. Okay, anyway, and it has cherry blossoms on it. So there is a kit from Diamond Art Club. Um, and I believe You May Arts is the artist. It's a person playing the flute with a bunch of cherry blossom petals floating around. That kit has been out of stock. Actually, I think it came back during my no buy and now it's been out of stock. So when it finally comes back this time around, I will purchase that because I absolutely love it. And like I said, I played flute for many, many years. I actually still have mine downstairs. So I want that kit. I have been collecting accessories <laughs> for that one for a while. So I thought that one would be perfect for that project if I can ever get my hands on the kit. Um, we have a pretty little seashell, again, with some summer kits in mind, and then a certified book addict, which is me. If you watch my monthly wrap-ups, you know that. Uh, next, we have... Yes. We have some flowers in cute little jars. These are what I would consider, like, neutral cover minders so if I don't feel like I have the perfect minder to match a kit I would use something along these lines with like the florals um, just try to match a color and then I love this little I, my mind just blanked what is this called sand dollar <laughs> my mind I just lost my my brain there for a second and then we have one more you guys will not be surprised with this cover minder and no I don't already have it but do I have one very similar yes yes I do and it's a little otter cute super cute love those I can never get enough cover minders I just can't all right let's take a look at this package this is some more putty I shared this shop in the small shop haul I did a couple months ago where I featured all new to me um, diamond painting accessory shops. Oh, geez. Ugh. Mystery scent. All right. What do we got? Ooh, tons of stickers. Oh, she sent me a New York sticker. That's cute. Stay trippy. Mango. Travel. Some cactus kangaroo and a really pretty feather I need to let my nieces go through my um all of my stickers that I have um there is a handwritten note it says hi Laura thank you so much thank you for supporting my shop and for being a repeat customer I truly appreciate you take care Deanne I'm assuming it's Deanne D-E-A-N-N-E -N -N -E. I would I would guess Deanne. Okay, I don't even remember what I ordered. Like I said, some of these packages have been hanging around for quite a while. I did pick up a couple of sample scents. Uh, I don't think she had the 
full sizes either in stock or they were scents that I wasn't so sure I would love in a full size. And I want to say her samples are like $2. So, oh, is this a, what is this? I'm confused. Oh, this is a little cover minder. This is not even what I thought it was going to be. Um, tell me this is a little peach because I will be so excited. What is this? It is. It's a little peach. Cute. I love that. Okay, now these should be the putties themselves. That makes more sense. Okay, so in the samples, I picked up Summer Boardwalk and Moose Munch. When I was younger, uh, Harry and David was like all the rage. Like, it was so popular. I don't think it's as popular anymore. But they had a product called Moose Munch, which was like flavored popcorns. Oh, this smells exactly like I remember the package smelling. Also, this is like metallic. Really pretty. Intrigued. I don't often, I know I just hauled a bunch of fruity scented ones from Breeze Shop, but I don't often go for foodie scents. I like more like nature-y uh, putties, but... I was very intrigued by that moose munch one. Now, this summer boardwalk, if she had had this in a full size, I definitely would have purchased it. That smells so good, and I love the coloring that she chose for that one. Very cool. All right, next. Now, this shop is currently closed. Oh, I'm excited for this one too. Um, there is a message on their Etsy shop saying that they're closed until, or they're closed and they're waiting to, to come back with some new scents. So I'm very excited for that. This one is Cowboy. Look at the coloring on that one. Oh, wow. That smells really good. It kind of smells like Steven in a weird way, not to be like TMI. <laughs> but it smells very good and I like the color again that they chose we have stomping grapes I love this new trend of like adding color and powders Ooh, that smells good to putties I just think it makes them look so pretty I'm gonna save the mystery scent for last because I don't want to I don't want to spoil it we have Sweet Grace and Butterfly Kisses. Sweet Grace. Oh, I was not expecting those colors. Pretty though. It's not bad. I just don't know if I love that scent, but when you're using it in your multiplacer, it's not as concentrated. So it, it won't be as strong. I just don't know that I love the scent on this one. I don't hate it though. So take that, <laughs> take that for what it is. And next up is Butterfly Kisses. Pretty colors. Ooh, this one I like. I like that a lot actually. Very nice. Okay, so we had some samples and some full size. Let's take a look at the mystery scent. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you guys what this one smells like because if you like the mystery, I don't want to ruin it for you. I do believe that there was a hint on the listing though of what kind of the theming of this one was and I was very interested. Oh yeah. Yep. If they, if she has this one when she comes back in stock, there's actually a label on the back that tells you what it is. I'm really hoping that that didn't pick up on the camera when I turned this over. If it did, I will try to edit that out somehow, but um, this smells very, very good. Love it. All right, now let's take a look at this package, which is a pen, and I am very excited to share it with you. We have a note get in here. 
we have a nice handwritten note. Thanks again for supporting my small business. I am so glad you are liking my pens. I loved watching you show them on your channel. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Subscribed. Oh, hi. Thank you so much for subscribing. And happy spring and looking forward to beach weather. Me too. This pen, when I saw it, gave me all the beachy, beachy feels. Um, so we have a little tray. We have some wax. I don't think this is scented. If it is, it's very, my nose is like full from smelling all those putties. <laughs> so if it is scented, it's very light. And then we have a really cute cover minder. This one's beautiful. All right, let's look at this pen because I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Look at this pen. These are like, these are three dimensional. So they actually stick up from the pen. And then it's, they're little seashells. Isn't that so pretty? I loved the colors. Definitely got the seashell vibes. Um, I have used the Easter Bunny pen I shared in my first video where I talked about this, this shop. And I found it to be so comfortable. Now I am interested to see if these little 3D pieces affect the comfort. Just from holding it like this, I don't think they will. Um, they don't feel like they're going to bother me. Like I have it like this and I can't feel any of the pieces. So um, yeah, really beautiful though. Can you believe these are pink pens? It's a pink pen with just clay around it, but isn't that amazing? So cool. Love it. Thank you so much. All right, let's do the two new shops that I have to share. The first one is from Bliss Studio Shop. Now, I have followed this person on, I believe her name is Ashley, if I'm not mistaken. I have followed them on Instagram for quite a while. And when I saw a story, I think, uh, posted that they were opening a new Etsy shop with cover minders, I was all in, <laughs> as we know. So let's take a look. Really pretty packaging that I'm destroying. Paper pieces. <laughs> well, let me take my invoice out. So no handwritten note on there, but that is okay. Stop. I'm so excited for these. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? Okay. We have a thank you here. And it looks like we have a little freebie cover minder. Cute. There's some stickers. Ooh, I love this one. Can you tell I love mason jars with flowers? It always seems impossible until it is done. And we have, thank you so much for supporting my small business. Please take a moment to leave a review. It helps my business grow. Uh, Bliss Studio Hobbies on YouTube and on Instagram. Cool. Congratulations, Ashley, on opening your Etsy shop. That is so exciting. And it looks like we have a cute little... Is this a cactus? So cute. A little freebie cover minder. Really pretty. I'm running out of room. I'm gonna have to go there. Okay. Some super, super cute cover minders from this shop. I was like, I'm just gonna pick out a couple. And then you see the like... <laughs> You put a couple in your cart and then your cart updates and it's like, you need to spend eight more dollars to get free shipping. And you're like, well, I guess I'll just spend the eight more dollars. So <laughs> we have this one, which is a little cat butt. And I got it in gray, obviously, in remembrance of my cat Neville. He was a gray boy, but it's just so funny. Look at the little butt. We have this one. This one is so pretty. Look at that. I loved this little book one. Be the reason someone believes in good people. I love that. Really pretty little butterfly. 
hello, I'm trying my best. <laughs> that is me every day. And then radiate positivity. I do want to look at in one of these so I can see what the magnet looks like. Ooh, these are nice, big magnets. Good thickness. I think those would be really nice. Cool. I love that. Thank you so much, Ashley. Again, congratulations on opening your Etsy shop. I'll put the link down below so you guys can check them out. Lots of really cute cover minders. Tons of options. All right, next I have some trays. This is a new to me tray shop. A lot of people have been talking about um, this shop lately. I saw my friend Lindsay from Life with Lindsay shared some trays from them in a recent video and I had had them in my cart but I was kind of waiting for one of my more trusted <laughs> people in the community who I know personally not personally, like in real life, but you know what I mean. Um, I was waiting for someone to talk about them in a video just so I could kind of get an idea on their thoughts. And Lindsay seemed to be excited to use them in her video. So it looks like the owner's name is Christina. We do have a note that says, thank you so much for your order. I hope you love your new trees. And I did pick up two in just like their regular stock. And then I also picked a listing from their made to order um, section. So we have three trays to look at. Let's do it. So these are from Bijou Bliss and these are quite unique on the, ooh, on the diamond painting market because they are magnetic, which is really cool. So let's do a little bit of information reading. Oh my gosh, it's books. How did you know? <laughs> How did you know? Perfect. Love that. All right. So we have some instructions. Here are a few tips for using your new magnetic tray. To stash the lid below, keep the diamond design up. Lid will work with the diamond facing to the right or left. Magnetic stopper will work right side up or upside down. Keep out of areas of high heat or sunlight. Okay, good to know. And yeah. So basically these trays have magnets. I don't know if they print them, like if they print around the magnets or if they add the magnets in at the end, but your top magnetizes. Isn't that so cool? And then on the bottom, that's actually pretty secure. It's wiggling around a little bit, but it's not like falling. Very cool. And then for the stopper, it just sucks it right in there. Oops, as I drop it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> so very cool as someone who <laughs> has a cat it is nice to have these options of ways to keep the trays on now if my cat was to bat this off of my table the lid would probably fall off but just to quickly walk away and have this lid on I think it'll be very nice uh, my drafting table sits right on right under a window which Luna likes to look she likes to hop up and look at while I'm diamond painting so um, yeah, very nice. I like that quite a bit. This is the, let's see, watermelon colorway. What else do we have? Ooh, this one's so pretty. This is the blue glitter. Look at that. Look at how sparkly that is. They had some really great color options. I love the magnet. It's actually quite secure. Very cool. I think I'm actually missing a magnet on the stopper side, it looks like. Maybe not. I can't quite tell. I'll have to get a flashlight into it so I can see. This one just doesn't seem to be catching as well as the other one, but that's okay. Uh, very neat. I love the colors on that one. And these do like magnetize to each other. 
So, geez Louise. They do magnetize to each other. <laughs> All right, one more tray. And this is the Silk Dusty Rose. Look at this color. So pretty. Very cool. I'm very excited to work with these trays. Um, I will be sure to use one soon so I can report back and give you guys my thoughts, but really pretty colors. I will link their shop down below as well. Okay, I have a gift to show you guys and then I have those two book packages and then I'll be done. So this is a package that I got from Brie. She repurposed a cat proof um box and she added the not from cat proof <laughs> so there was a very nice card which i'm not going to share obviously but she also sent me two scents that i was really excited about from her uh, original launch i like i mentioned earlier i had missed out on her release she had changed the date and I didn't realize it was a whole thing, whatever. So she sent me two. I have Day at the Beach, which is my favorite. It's so good. And then Cotton Candy. So love both of these. I I have two of Bree's putties from before she started selling them. She used to uh, send them in her Happy Mail um, packages. If you signed up for her Happy Mail on her channel, she would send you a putty. I have two and they work very well. So I'm excited that she decided to branch out and start selling them and she has some really awesome scents. So this was the surprise and she actually made me FaceTime her so she could see my reaction for this item. <laughs> so she sent me a pen from Peachy Keen which you guys know is one of my favorite pen shops and this pen is perfect. I did ask her if I could share it and she said yes. Um, so here it is look at this pen. I'm obsessed with this top part. It looks like sand. And then if you look really closely, I'm hoping they pick up, there's little sea turtle glitter pieces in there. And then these really cute little bubbles. Isn't that amazing? I love this pen. I will be using it this summer with some of my summer kits for sure, but I love it. Thank you again, Brie. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we had a little bit of everything, and now we're going to go into some book stuff um, because there are two shops that I wanted to share with you guys. If you are not interested in book content, um, these are bookmarks, so if you're not interested, totally fine. I do not blame you. Feel free to click off the video, um, but I do like to share other small shops when I have the opportunity, so that's what I'm going to do. If you're deciding to leave, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. If you're sticking around, let's do it. So this first package here is actually two orders together. Um, I stole one of the boxes to package up a something that I'm sending out to somebody, which Nancy, if you're watching, it's coming. I swear. <laughs> I promise it's coming your way. But uh, these are from a shop called Loving, which I have shared with you guys before. They have some of my favorite bookmarks. So I actually placed an order for this one first. This one. Look at this cover, er, cover minder. No, look at this bookmark. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely love it. I'm going to pop these up here. And then she released this one. How beautiful. And I had sent her a message when I ordered this bookmark and I just wanted to say like, I love your products. Like it's so amazing. You're so creative and whatever. And she sent me two free bookmarks. Okay. So I ordered these two, this one and the moon one that you just saw. She wrote me the sweetest little note. And then she made me two like custom bookmark. She does not sell these in her shop and I'm obsessed with this one. It has a seashell hanging from the bottom. How pretty is that? And then she also sent me this purple crystal. So beautiful. I love them so much. Please go check out this shop if you're a reader. Um, highly recommend. She is so sweet. Her name is Carly, I believe. 
I'm pretty sure I also have some stickers. I love how she does her handwritten notes on like recycled paper. The packaging is so cute. Please go check out the shop if you are into um, bookmarks. But she also has like really pretty car charms and um, sun catchers and all that fun stuff. I need to order something other than bookmarks the next time I place an order because her stuff is so pretty. Okay, last shop. This is from a Etsy shop again called Crafted Van. Crafted Van. They are based in Canada. So any of my Canadian friends, if you're looking for some bookmarks, um, definitely check them out. I do not remember the shipping being very expensive at all. So uh, even for me here in the States. Okay, let's see. What do we have? We have a business card or two. Crafted Van is the shop. Erica and Diana. Cool. So I did purchase mostly bookmarks, but I do have a couple of other things here. Look at this pen. <laughs> Little enamel pen. I don't know if I'm going to make this into a cover minder or if I'm going to find another use for it, but how could I pass that up? Same goes for the kitchen magnet. The rest are bookmarks though. So we have a really pretty flower, an otter holding a candy cane. Is it Christmas? No, but did I need it? Yes. Three little mini bookmarks that are kitties. You can buy these also in a large size from their shop. An otter holding a mussel, a lighthouse. I have some, a ton of summer books on my TBR, so this will be perfect. Cute little kitty that reminded me of Neville. Two mini otters. Look, they're holding hands. I love them. This is a, a bookmark that was, proceeds were going towards, uh, I believe it was a children's hospital somewhere in Canada. They had a whole little section dedicated to that on their Etsy shop, so I did pick this one up. And then we have a little bunny with a flower crown. So <laughs> this was such a hodgepodge of items, but thank you guys so much for watching today's small shop haul. I know I mentioned that I was going to take a break, but clearly I did not do that. Although I will say a lot of these items have been sitting for quite a while. Some of these I ordered way back in the beginning of April. I think some of these bookmarks were the end of March. So things have been hanging around for a bit, um, but yeah, I will list all of these shops down below. Make sure you check out all of them, especially the new shops that are out there. Show them some support so we keep getting awesome items. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you on Friday. Bye.